Hey friends, how's it going? Welcome to my weekly learning Google Analytics videos. So these videos are meant to get you going on your Google Analytics journey. Of course, if you have any questions, use the comments below on each video. Today, we're learning the basics of tracking site growth on Google Analytics. I want to know how their site's doing and how they're tracking. There are a couple reports that I wanna show you, two to be exact. Before we get into that, we wanna take out the stigma. What is normal traffic? <laughs> and I don't really believe in normal traffic because it depends on where your site's been, what, how long it's been around, what you're doing, right? So. When we're talking about goals, we always want to talk in percentages. We never want to say a thousand visitors or 10,000 visitors because that could be too small. Like 10,000 visitors might be a small site. So we want to always talk in percentages, accurate ideas of what direction we want to go in. The first report I want to show you when we're looking at growth is this home report. So this report, as soon as you open Google Analytics, if you're already in the tool and you're clicking around, you can get back to it by going to home. And this is one of the most more modern reports. Here we can see um, in the last seven days how the traffic has performed. Now, the reason I like this report is I do feel like it gives us kind of some analysis here on our main metrics, which I will be getting into in another video. And then if we want to open it up, you know, seven days isn't a lot of time. Maybe we want to do like the last 28 days last month. There we can see that. And then the cool thing is a little speckled line or the dash is last month. So it actually compares the last time period. So for me, I have a 26 dr drop in traffic from the last month to this month. That's interesting. You can even open it up more. So it allows you to actually grab more traffic going beyond. If you want to do a couple months, you can scroll up and down. You can do that and it actually does that. So this report I think is interesting because it does do the right, like right there, the comparison, and it kind of gives you the little arrow. And it looks a little more modern <laughs> than this report, which is the second report. So this one's under audience and overview. Again, always pay attention out of the box. You will have at least a week of traffic. And so I recommend opening it up for most clients. So if we look at last, that the last month, we can see that. And then here you can actually have it show it to you per week per day. So depending on what kind of analysis you're doing, you might want to see it and how big the date range is. You might want to see it per week versus per day. And then you can actually do a similar thing from this last report I showed you where you can compare it to the previous time period. So here it would compare the last three months to the previous three months. And then you would get the similar metrics where you'd see kind of the comparison and that's pretty cool, right? What does this all mean? So for all my clients, I ask them, what kind of marketing have you done in the last six months or the last three months? What kind of marketing are you planning on doing? What launches are you doing? And then, then some analysis in October, they had a launch. You can look at their traffic and say, okay, well, we see in October that your site definitely went up. Your site traffic went up. You always want to relate it um, and give them next steps. So if you see that their launch was successful or if you see some marketing effort was successful, say to them, okay, and we're going to try and replicate that in the future. You're going to tell me what you're doing in the future and then we can track that. This view of the data because it's going to help them see what's successful and what's not successful. Yeah, I'm really excited. Okay, we'll be in touch. Bye.